A motorcyclist heading east through a small town accelerates after he passes the signpost marking the town limits. His acceleration is a constant 4 meter per second squared. At time t is equal to 0, he is 5 meter east of the signpost, moving east at 15 meter per second. Let us find his position and velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds. Let us also find where the motorcyclist is when his velocity is 25 meter per second. This is our motorcyclist at time t is equal to 0. His initial position is 5 meters. His initial velocity is 15. His constant acceleration is 4 meter per second squared. We need to compute for his final position at t is 2 seconds and his velocity at t is 2 seconds. Let us compute for his final position at time t is equal to 2 seconds. We can use the second equation to compute for our final position. Let us use our calculator to calculate the final position. We have the final position minus the initial position, which is 5 meters, is equals to initial velocity, which is 15, times t, which is 2 seconds plus acceleration which is 4 meter per second squared times time which is 2 squared over 2. Therefore, our final position at time t is equals to 2 seconds is equivalent to this is equivalent to 40 3 meters. Next, let us compute for his final velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds. For this problem, we can use the first equation that is equivalent to the final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Let us input our equation to our calculator. We are looking for our final velocity, which is equivalent to initial velocity. We have 15 plus acceleration is 4 times the given time, which is 2 seconds. Therefore, we have a final velocity of 23 meter per second. Where is the motorcyclist when his velocity is 25 meter per second? We are looking for his final position. If his final velocity is 25 meter per second, his initial position is 5 meters, his initial velocity is 15 meter per second, and his acceleration is 4 meter per second squared. We can use the third equation to compute for our final position. Let us input our values to our calculator. We have final velocity is 25 squared is equals to initial velocity is 15 squared plus 2 times acceleration of 4 times the final position. That's what we are computing minus the initial position. This is equivalent to 55 meters. Therefore, his final position of his velocity is 25 meters per second is at 55 meters.